All right, everybody, let's talk about Google Form sections, and then eventually we're going to talk about routing. This is a really powerful feature. A lot of people don't talk about this, maybe not even know about it. So in a Google Form, uh, oftentimes you'll just see one long form, one page. However, you can separate your form into several sections or pages. At the very least, if you have a long survey, this helps to kind of chop things up. Also, sometimes people don't want you to see all of the questions all at once, and so they will section off parts of their survey. There's also another reason why this would be a great trick for you in saving time and being more effective, and that is to create one survey that routes people to appropriate questions just for them. So let's see how this is done. So, uh, Remember our Ask a Demonstration survey. I'm going to kind of scroll down here. Remember I imported these from the Mindsets and Behaviors. So right about here, I'm going to go ahead and add an item. Actually, I'm going to add a section. So it's not any of these top buttons. We're looking at this Add Section button right here. So if I click on that, I get a new section. You can see this is Section 2 of 2. All right, so I had my original section and now I've just added a second one. So I'm going to name this one. Let's call this, oh, let's let's do this by grade level, sixth graders. Okay. And so uh, this is going to start a section for sixth graders. Now, again, you can just put different sections for the same population. So this could be named uh, a different topic or a different set of questions and just to kind of stay organized uh, which is kind of nice. However, sometimes you want to be able to route people. Now, before I do that, let me just kind of show you a preview. Here's what's happening. All right, so here's my survey as it looks online. As people get to down here, you'll see because I set up an, another section, now there's a button called Next. And you can do that for how many times you want. So you can have multiple sections. Uh, at the same time, let me show you one other thing before I move on to routing, and that is uh, under the settings bar, if you go to how your survey is presented, um, I'm going to check that off. We don't want to, we don't want multiple responses, but look at this, show progress bar. So that's real helpful too. Because people can't see the entire survey, at least they can be reassured that they're making progress uh, with a progress bar. So I'm going to save that. So now that we've kind of looked at sections and why we use them, uh, let's go ahead and move to routing. So let's, uh, I'm going to go right here and we're going to add an item. I'm going to say, what grade are you in? Question mark. All right, let's go ahead and make that multiple choice. We only want them to uh, say one. So we'll go sixth, seventh, or eighth. All right. So let's say uh, the beginning of this survey are items for all students in my school. Maybe it's demographics, maybe it's some things that I want to know uh, based on all the grade levels. However, there's a certain part of the survey where I only want the sixth graders to answer maybe only the seventh and maybe only the eighth. Uh, maybe I'm only interested in the 6th graders, and so if somebody answers 7th or 8th, I'm going to actually end the survey for them. I'll send them to a section that says, thanks for your consideration, but you're not eligible for the survey. Something like that. Okay, and don't forget, I can put pictures in here too, so I can put happy faces and thank yous and all kinds of, kinds of nice graphics. So here's how this works. Um, remember, I have a new section right underneath for 6th graders. So with this one, uh, I have to require it or else it's not going to work. Then I'm going to click on these, these hamburgers here, the three dots, and look at this. Go to section based on answer. So if they answer sixth grade, then we're going to go to section two for sixth graders. When I have a section called seventh graders, that will show up here. And so I will choose seventh graders. And if they are eighth, then maybe uh, I can have another section uh, for eighth graders or I can have a final section called exit that I send everybody to. All right, so, so um, we're looking at sections. Sections kind of help things stay organized. They kind of chop things up based on topics. Uh, or even more powerful, if you have different sections for different 
populations rather than saying you know skip this next five items or something like that which can get really confusing just create a section and have them go to that without seeing things that are not relevant for them.